Isolation gen generally tends to have a negative effect on people's mental health, making them feel a little bit low or anxious because they're unable to get out and about and meet new people. When you are quite isolated and lonely, it makes it very difficult to break that cycle and get out again and meet new people. And in our service, that's what we can do. We can do walk and talk sessions and support our ladies to meet other people and get the confidence back to be able to leave the house again. We start to notice when people are um, becoming isolated and lonely by the change in their mood, they may become low and feeling anxious. They might not wanna leave the house. Um, if they do, they wanna go back quite quickly. Um, they've got a very small social network or none at all and no support from family and friends. We have lots of interventions we use with our families when we're working with them. Quite early on, we'll do a mind map to check what their needs are and try and help support to sort some of those things out to make their mental health a little bit more stable. We can do our walk and talk sessions, getting them out of the house, slowly introduce them to others that are in a similar situation to themselves, and then maybe introduce them into groups that maybe we run, so it's a smaller scale, and again, with ladies that have the similar sort of problems, and then um, eventually maybe getting them into larger groups um, towards the end of our interventions. Due to every area having different support um, services in place, the first point of call probably would be a GP, midwife, health visitor, some sort of health professional, because they would know what services they're available to refer each person into. In the east of England, there are many services to support with mental health. The wellbeing service is something that can be accessed online that can, you can self-refer to. We have MIND, NCT, Small Steps Together and for higher need the perinatal mental health team.